Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to do a reading for a female viewer, a female viewer friend. Um, she's 33 and she is a Leo. Let's see what the cards reveal. So I'm just going to shuffle these up. Think about my friend and her question, questions, see what type of direction we can give her. So when cards fall out, these are important. Territory, preparation, and growth. We are going to put these off to the side. We will dig deeper. after. So just a few more here and um, we'll lay, lay the spread out. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first three cards are what is going on right now. Upheaval. This is right now, my dear. Let's see what we can do to, to help you, guide you, Mischief. And the very last card, self-interest. So the next card in your spread is going to be the first card of your present path. Make sure we are in frame. Balance. This is the path you are on right now. The next card is... An alternative path. Illusion. The next card, influences to work with. Whoops, I should keep these cards close by here so you can see. Influences to work with. Hmm. It's an angry card. Your next card is influences to work around. Survival. Your next card is going to be in your present path. Nature. Alternative path. Influence. Things to work with, insight. Observation, things to work around. Your very last card on your present path. Commitment. Your next card, memory. This is on your alternative path. Your last card on influences to work with. Night. And the very last card on influences to work around. Exposed. And don't forget, we still have your super important cards off to the side. Let's dig deeper. Okay, let's get into the first three cards. So your first three cards were upheaval, which means there, I feel like something has changed on a, on a whim through no fault of your own. Upheaval, upheaval is a reminder that things can change on a whim through no fault of your own. So you might be going through a change right now, no fault of your own. And the next card that fell was the mischief card, which means mischief indicates an annoyance. You might be the target of someone's delinquency or bad behavior. Is this going on with you right now? 
the self inch oops sorry i hope i am in frame the self interest card this is important the self interest card is you must be able to take care of yourself sometimes you really truly need to focus on yourself it's not being selfish in the short term you may be perceived as selfish but in the long term, your decision will benefit all those involved. You must take care of yourself first. The next ones we're going to go to right now is your present path. Balance. So your present path, balance. Make sure you're in frame. Up a little more. The balance card, when this card appears, you need to call upon your inner strength as an approaching situation is going to test your ability to stay cool and composed. This is your present path, the one you are on right now. Why am I not being able to grab this? Your next one is nature. When the nature card appears, it may indicate that you are long overdue for some outside time. Have you been cooped up inside? Go outside, go for a walk, go to the park. Uh, is there any water nearby? Go to, go to the water and think. Balance and it, it, time for yourself. It is okay. In your very last card on the present path you are on, commitment. When this card appears in your reading, it asks you to examine any, any area of your life where you might have entered into an obligation. So um, it could be work. It could be anything. Love. Now think about these commitments. While you are out balancing yourself. Do they raise a vibration inside of you when you think about them? Do you get excited? Are you enthusiastic? The question you may need to consider is. Are these do sometimes you have you have to how how do these feelings make you feel are do they excite you do they bring anger angst resentment the question you need to consider is if the moments of angst and resentment outweigh the love and support your commitment brings to your situation Okay, let's check out your alternative path. So these are the cards that we pulled on your alternative path. The first one is the illusion card. Make sure you are in frame. The illusion card might appear if you are operating under false assumptions. Are you in denial and you do not want to accept the reality of a situation? So the illusion card may appear in our reading um, if you are clinging to a narrative that suits your feelings about a situation rather than the facts. So what I mean is, um, so you send somebody a text message and they don't reply right away and you're angry, you know they, you know they, seen it you've been chatting with them and now you're upset your whole day is ruined um but then later on when you go back to your messages and you realize you forgot to hit send and you're angry and upset and had all these feelings for no reason simply because 
you forgot to hit the send button. So do not let your emotions. So I'm just trying to say is don't let all that um, energy. Don't use all your energy on being upset and angry over an illusion. An illusion. The next card in your reading on your alternative path, influence. So the influence card, um, I want to bring to your awareness that you might make decisions that you would not generally make because of maybe an outside influence. Um, how, let me see, how do I explain? You might be caught up in somebody's spell and, you know, their intoxicating spell and you do something you generally would not do. That, that's an alternative. This is an alternative path. But on the other hand, if, influ if the influence appears, you could also... You could also be influenced by somebody who changes, changes, oh. what I'm trying to say is the influence card is not always bad. You could, maybe, maybe someone strong, healthy, maybe somebody inspirational, somebody who will influence you. On the good side, you, this is your alternative path. You just, you, you never know what decisions you're going to make when somebody else, an outside influence. The last card is the memory card. Oops, let me get you in frame. So the memory card asks you to examine areas of your life where you may be letting a past hurt or situation impact how you engage with someone today. Do you expect others to behave in a certain way because of past behavior? Um, could you possibly be holding a grudge? And it seems like forgiveness does not come easy. This is the alternative path. Now this may indicate a person. This may indicate you. But um, this is an alternative path and uh, forgiveness does not come easy. Influences to work with is your next one. Let's bring you in a little closer. The first card in your uh, obstacles to work with, wrath. Now, this is stuff you, you have to work with. Wrath creates a powerful energy. You can see it in the card. The anger. It can be destructive and lead you down a path that may str cause strain, that may strain or cause friction within a relationship. There is a lot of anger. And it's not just enough for the offender to know that you're in the anger. The wrath card wants it. Wrath asks you to consider the energy that you are creating from your anger. Is it one that will is it one that will in the end create a positive change in the relationship or are you creating re resentment that fuels the desire for future revenge Now it's super important here wrath adds another element to anger the element of revenge it's not just enough for the offender to know that you are angry, they must also feel or experience the anger in some way. These are things you have to work with now. 
you have to work with. Knight card. Are we in frame? Yes, we are. Knight. Knight seems to be the worst for you or your situation. What is going on right now, nighttime, is the worst. Um, just, just so you know, uh, our bodies require eight hours of sleep, a solid eight hours of sleep. When the night card appears, you need to focus on creating a healthy bedtime routine. I know nighttime is difficult and it's hard. Maybe your mind is racing. There's little squabbles, um, but again, uh, that's where that self-interest card comes in. It is okay to be selfish. And if nighttime is your time to be selfish, that's perfectly fine. And your very last card on the path to work with, Insight. Insight asks that you take time and examine your situation. Test out different different strategies. Maybe you have to do different things. When you understand the relationship between all contributing factors, you will be able to identify actions that yield little benefit or remove any obstacles that may be in your way. And in turn, apply strategies that expedite success. So what I mean is, if there are things that are causing evening issues, um, the Insight card asks you to examine and find different strategies to your situation. And the last cards in your reading... So with the situation that's going on right now, the insight card asks you to um, come up with different strategies. Uh, I, let's continue. Okay, so the first card in your influences to work around survival do you feel like you're trapped and um like the like the picture the crow is trapped in a bush and the hungry fox patiently waits for his meal do you feel trapped when we are in survival mode we are restricted we like the crow cannot fly this card calls to your attention how you feel how are you feeling about the situation are you hunkered down and waiting for the threat are you waiting for the threat to be over or are you moving doing your best to find a path out when we are in survival mode our possibilities are limited by a creative mind solely focused on getting through the, the difficult situation. Any decisions made in survival mode are done to simply re to release any immediate pain, to get it done and over with. When you do this, you, ri you risk accepting a quick fix and it limits your growth. It's just a quick fix. This is a path you have to work around. The next card is observation. Observation. This card indicates that you would be you would be better served by being a spectator and staying out of a situation. You will learn more from listening than from talking. So by listening, 
there may be something of value that will only reveal itself if given the time. Your next card, Exposed, shows alone and unprotected um, and vulnerable to attack. This card may indicate you are being thrust into the spotlight and potentially, potentially not in a good way. As a result, you may feel helpless and fear possible criticism. Exposed may also point to an open and free opportunity for the taking, as there will not be much in the way of opposition. Exposed speaks to your feelings that surface as a result of feeling vulnerable. Are you comfortable putting yourself out there? Does facing criticism, criticism cause you to freeze up? What opportunities have you possibly missed because of a fear of being seen? Exposed may also present itself as a call to examine your situation more carefully as a piece of valuable information is becoming clearer. Something or someone may expose their flaws or weaknesses, and this may prove to be beneficial information in your future. So the last cards I have for you are the three that fell out when we were shuffling, when I was shuffling the cards and thinking of you. Let's go through these. So these cards are important. The first one is territory. When the territory card appears in a reading, you need to consider what boundaries are in place or if they are needed. Would the situation benefit from establishing some ground rules? It may also appear if you need to carve out some space for yourself, whether it be within your own home, in the form of your own time alone, solely yours and yours alone. The next card, preparation. When this card appears in your reading, Preparation speaks to getting ready for something. Something you know is on the horizon and planning for it accordingly. It's about getting all your ducks in a row or in the, getting all your ducks in a row so that you can achieve the most beneficial outcome. And the very last card, growth. This card appears in a reading. If you were on the, so I'm dropping stuff. My coffee cup, my spoon, did you hear it rattle? I'm sorry. You may pull this card if you are on the cusp of a growth spurt as a change that will move your life in a new direction is approaching. Those are important cards. So my 33-year-old female Leo viewer, I really, I hope this reading offers you some sort of insight, guidance. If you need any, if you need anything else, please send me an email, uh, leave me a comment. I will get back to you immediately if there is anything you want to talk or know more in depth. This is, um, you have a lot to think about. And a lot of these cards are, are very strong, strong cards. So, my friend, 
I hope you, like I said, I hope this reading helps you, gives you some sort of guidance, and we will go ahead and end this. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Most importantly, I hope you guys have the best day ever.